video from last time since um, I got cut off at uh, some of the spots I was talking about but I just want to go over it continually with uh, people being kind of just so angry now which is a big issue that we're seeing um, we're in a culture now where we've just created that everyone is just angry about everything um, if we took a step back and just relaxed and some of these things that we choose to be angry about and just decided to have a better attitude about we could just overall be a lot better there's no reason for there to be such a high level of unhappiness and a high level of depression and anxiety and like i mentioned in my other video there's, i don't think there's any reason that we're having um, at least half, I'd say probably, it feels like 75% of the people that I talk to around 30 and below 30 are all depressed and have all these issues. There's no reason for the high amount for the, the overwhelming majority of people to have some sort of mental issue. It's tough, you know, like there's no reason for that. Alright, but I hope this video is looking good. Um, before I get into the rest of that, I want to talk about my new uh, GoPro Hero 9 that I'm uh, recording with. Um, really excited that I was able to get it at this price uh, because the Hero 10 just came out. So I found a practically brand new one with a media mod. And um, it's a lot of fun. It makes it so much easier um, recording and uploading videos. I didn't realize how different the Hero 2 would be compared to the Hero 9. So this thing's pretty awesome. But yeah, back to the topic at hand. So, it's just, one of the things I mentioned that got cut off is that other people have a lot of issues, a lot of serious issues, and I'm not saying that because other people have worse issues that, um, that belittles other people's issues. That's not the thing at all. It's saying if you choose to be angry about everything that you dislike and say it's racism and say that it's transphobia, that it's something, then, then we're gonna have a lot of issues. If I could take back some of my buddies that I lost, and if I could take back some of my buddies that took their own lives because of the issues they faced, if I could take all that back, but have someone call me the wrong pronoun, or the wrong race, or the wrong something for the next, for the past 35 years, for my whole life, I would happily do that. I would happily trade being called the wrong pronoun. Why be so angry about it? Why look at a questionnaire and say, oh, this questionnaire is transphobic because it only has options for male and female. It's like, you know what, and they get over it. Is, is that really the worst thing that has happened to your life? where we're told to be so angry about things like one of my friends little sisters uh, who's in college now um, was trying to educate me about microaggressions and was pretty much telling me that um, anytime a man holds a door open for a woman or a, or a man pulls out a chair for a woman that that's a microaggression because we're in a sense saying hey I give you permission to sit here I gave you permission to walk through this door. When that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. How is that how is that beneficial to anyone? You know, I want to hold a door open for my wife or a lady because it's the right thing to do. I'm not it's not being negative in any way. It's there there's just things that you're supposed to do as a gentleman, you know. And one of the arguments I heard before about all this, like, oh, I'm really mad about the questionnaires, I'm really mad about this, um, it's because they believe that they're, like, ahead of the times. And that people who are not mad about those things are, like, behind. And they use, like, slavery as an example. Like, oh, slavery was okay at one point, but everyone who was not okay
okay with it was ahead of the time. It's like, that is insane. Do not try and tell me that having male and female on a questionnaire is the same as slavery. In slavery, there was people of color, specifically black people, but even minorities like me, who were oppressed during these times, who were beaten, who were forced to work to death. And you're going to try to compare what you're going through because you have the marks of things on the questionnaire as bad as slavery? No, that's crazy to me. Crazy! taping herself for uh, TikTok um, because she was crying while her mom was kicking her out of the house and she was like I don't get why you're doing this mom um, I just try to educate you on you know like the evils of capitalism and you keep misgendering me and I'm trying to educate you on that and the mom was like you're not missing you're not educating me on anything you're brainwashed by whatever you're learning and you're trying to spread that here. Um, and I was thinking the exact same thing. This this, this girl in her mid-20s, the, the mom has every right to be like, hey, it's time to get a job. It's time to move out, pay your own bills. Who do you think bought her that, that iPhone? Who do, you think, who do you think provides all that stuff? First of all, it's her parents. Second of all, it's, it's possible because of capitalism. It's possible because of capitalism. I'm not saying capitalism is perfect. Just like I talked about before, I don't think capitalism is perfect, but come on, are you serious? Like, uh, you're mad that your mom is misgendering you? It's like, your mom raised you, your parents raised you. They saw you as a girl your whole life, and maybe now you identify as a boy, then okay, just say, hey mom, by the way, I identify as a boy now then get over it. It's not that big of a deal. She's still racing. She's not trying to be mad. She's not trying to be evil. She's not trying to be vindictive by not calling you your preferred pronoun. And you know, in the, in, in, the, in the rare situation that that's happening, if they're abusive towards you, if they're abusive, if, if you have parents that are abusive towards you because you choose to um, identify as a different gender, then that's a separate issue. But being a disrespectful brat is not the way to do it. It's just creating more problems. You're crying and advertising your mental breakdown um, or whatever, your panic attack because for what? For views on TikTok? It's crazy. At the end of the day, you could just, you could just kind of just move on. What are you doing? 
doing it for? Are, are you creating your own mental problems? Then, then, then that's an issue. There's no reason to create your own mental problems. You know, like, just move on. You know, like, all these things, at the end of the day, we're just people. I don't care if you disagree with me. I really don't. And a lot of what I'm seeing now is people who are like, oh, um, it's okay to disagree on things like, like what restaurant to eat at, but we can't disagree on racism. I'm like, oh my gosh, get out of here. You cannot label everything you don't like as racism. You can't. Because then you create, you create this barrier. You created a barrier where no one can argue with you anymore. Oh, because you're, you're so educated. You're so ahead of the times. You're so woke that you believe that these things are racism and we just don't realize it yet. Like, no, get out of here. You know what? Me personally, um, I'm against abortion in most cases. That's fine, right? In most cases, I'm not going to get into my complete stance on abortion now. There's no point. I'm against abortion in most cases. But if someone disagrees with me, I will still have a conversation. I'm not going to say, oh, you know what? We can disagree on some things, like what restaurant we should eat at tonight. But we can't disagree on murder. No, get out of here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump straight to that. I'm avoiding an argument. I'm cutting someone out of my life. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm avoiding even having a rational conversation about it. And that's what's happening in the world now. It's, it is, and we need to get away from that. And it's one of the things I want to see. One of the things I want to see is improve on. Is that specifically? You know. So I really hope that you know we can do those things. That together we can move forward that we can get away from all this hate and all this mental breakdowns and this extremely high rate of depression, anxiety, ADHD. I, I think an overwhelming majority, tell me if, if y'all are experiencing this, I mean, an overwhelming majority of people I meet, I'm, I'm depressed, I'm anxious, I take medication, I see a psychiatrist, I have ADHD, I take mind-altering medication every day. Like, why is that rate so high? We need to get back to just being people and loving each other, being appreciative of what we have, and not not finding all these things, not finding all these things that create anger. There's, there's no reason for it, you know. And I want to see, I want to see like an improvement in all these things. Um, and the thing is, if you meet me, a lot of people they meet me. I might come off brash. I might come off whatever you think I am. But people who really get to know me know. I want to be kind. I want to. I want to find a kind society. I want to live in a kind society. I want people to love each other, and I want people to not be so angry and you know to continue to fall into these high rates of suicide. High rates of suicide in the military. It's horrible things that I have that you know are struggling with stuff because of what they experience in Afghanistan. Um, you know, as a group, it, it, it was it was not an easy deployment. different. We're allowed to be different. We're allowed to be. If 
someone is hateful, that's a different story. If someone is hateful, then yeah. If you, but if you believe that because that I uh, I accidentally called someone a wrong pronoun, I, I'm hateful, then that's crazy. I, I, I don't care enough to intentionally hurt someone's feelings by misgendering them. I don't to label someone as racist because who they voted for, even if they're a great person, they're, they're someone who's been your friend your whole life, but oh, they voted different than you did, so now oh, their vote means they're racist, their vote means they're evil, their vote means you hate them and you hate the other tens of millions of people that voted like them. That's crazy. That's crazy. They just voted for someone different than you. They're allowed to do that. If they weren't allowed to do that, there'd be just there could only be one nominee for president. People are allowed to vote different than you. That's how it is. That's how the world works. You know, like, that's how the world works. It's crazy to think that we're all supposed to, like, vote one way or something. No. No way.